Hello, everyone. Welcome to the KZoom Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. This is Marketing and Mocktails. We make marketing a little bit easy and mocktails slightly worse. This is my guest here, Jordan, the expert of all things except for the things he's not. And, you know... <laughs> Which is many. <laughs> many things. <laughs> that you're expert at or not expert at? Not. Oh, I would have thought it was the other. Yeah. That's all right. Well, thanks. Well, I'll let you know. We do like to start every podcast with a little bit of like an inspirational quote. Um, Love it. So the one that I picked out for today mm -hmm. is just about like the change in times, especially with like social media, everything just seems really volatile right now, how much change is happening with like Instagram and Twitter and all of that. And there's this quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, actually, where she says, I got my social media fame from... big topic of today is threads and in correlation with that twitter as well nice threads, Thread, nice threads. <laughs> and we're also of course building our nice little mocktail here what mocktail are we are we building today is that revealed it's, now early or can. is that revealed later it is if you guessed an apple teeny which is just going to be apple juice with no liquor in it so a apple juice apple juice <laughs> well <laughs> More than that. Perhaps. We're going to try to glug, not glug, make a glug, mess. Glug, glug, glug. Sorry, I was adding some sound effects. I think we that need that. That much apple juice? Okay. Just well, there's not really anything else to Healthy <laughs> amount of apple juice? <laughs> Apples are good for you somehow. What is Threads? Threads is basically Instagram's answer to Twitter. It's text makes app. They're going after Twitter, trying to bring them down. It's very volatile. Do you think it's going to work? You know... That's kind of what we're getting into today. Mm -hmm. The first point I'd like to point out is all of the Instagram people automatically have a threads if you wanted one. It That was one of the pluses was that it took not only your name and account, but mm -hmm. essentially all of your followers over to this app, which is a big reason why people have such a hard time getting a new social media platform app is because I have to build up my following, I have to build up my platform. Mm. Well, Threads was smart when Instagram did this and they did this because they basically just said, do you want to follow everybody you're already following on this app? Mm -hmm. We'll just do that. And it will just transfer all of that over there. My, my question is, so you do you need a new, is, is it a separate app? It is. It is a separate app. It's a separate app. Okay, so not only do you need Instagram now, but you also need Threads? Yeah. It's place. essentially what Twitter was. And that's... I well, mean, let me tell you how it's different. How is it different? All right. This is how it's different. The lemon, lemon. juice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a little bit of that in there. I always put way too much because I feel like it just needs more. I, I, I like sour. Like. That's really pretty in there. I won't, I won't stir it. Yeah, that's part of the... Yeah, it kind of sits on top. Yeah, there we go. It's nice. But let me tell you how it's different. Basically, there are some things that made people kind of upset at Twitter recently. Hmm. They you don't say. In, yeah. They entered in the paid tier system, okay. which made people very upset. So Threads doesn't have that. You can't just pay for people to follow you and like you and have your stuff out there. Okay. Um, that's something that's been very common on social media recently is getting that blue verified check mark. Yeah. And there's a whole thing with Twitter about how... Now anybody can be verified as long as you pay for it mm. instead of actually having some sort of platform or yeah. something that you built upon to like become work a for figure. It. Right. And so that kind of brought Twitter down. So Threads doesn't have that. Um, yeah. The other thing is, this is kind of interesting, there's no hashtags on Threads. So See. you can't search specifically for things. It's mm. only done by what you like kind of very similar to like the algorithm on TikTok where like you can search for stuff on TikTok, but your For You page is just constantly algorithm. spitting things out exactly by what you like. Interesting. Do you think, do you think the algorithm is a, is a turnoff for a lot of people? Like, because mm -hmm. I think what made Instagram so fresh at the beginning mm -hmm. was it was, it felt like there wasn't an algorithm. You were right. just seeing the things that you were following, like the people you were following. Mm -hmm. I guess the negative of having the algorithm is that one, it can get wonky. And also, there, the algorithm is a big secret, so we can't control it. Yeah. It's controlled by whoever is controlling it. Mm -hmm. And that's always been really sus for people because what exactly are they basing it off of? Like, mm. yep. you know, is it yeah. truly just off of money? How many people spend more money? 
is somebody who's controlling the algorithm have their own agenda, their own biases that are controlling it as well. Mm -hmm. We're getting into so, some real matrix stuff. Yeah, here. real matrix stuff. Mm -hmm. But Threads doesn't have that. Okay. But it's still got an algorithm. It's still got an algorithm. Got it. So with the, the emergence of Threads. Yeah. My the, as a as a marketing agency that we mm. are, is there an advantage to, to having a Threads? Like is because people have been on this train right now where they're mm -hmm. like, do we even need a TikTok? Right. You know, like with the um, s the rapid emergence of all these things, like right. do you just wait a couple years to see what settles? What it does. Like, and like that what's is the ooh, okay. This is the benefit. Okay. Or the lack thereof, to be honest with you. Got it. We're gonna put a little bit of this in there. All right. I wonder how this is gonna change the color. Let's see. My guess, it, if I was hoping elementary school taught me anything, it's gonna be orange now. Ooh, okay. Bets on if it's orange or brown. Just a really gross, ugly brown. I was hoping this would have like a little spout, oh, but that's a big, yeah, how you much? Gotta, you gotta be real precise there. Are we sure? All right, here we go. Ooh, I think you were right, it's orange. That's orange. That's a really pretty gradient there. Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I did. For businesses, you know, is there marketing benefit to being on the app right now? No. Personal opinion, no. There, no. There's no way to buy things off of it. There's no way to like really take advantage of it as far as like a business aspect, mm -hmm. selling a product. Mm -hmm. But I will say, if this does pop off, and become the new Twitter, or whatever Twitter is calling itself now, mm -hmm. <laughs> then basically you had your foot in the door already. You already, you were in there first, you got all of your platform built up already, you put the work in. So when they do start adding in all of these other things like shops and mm -hmm. advertising and stuff, mm -hmm. you'll be already set. Now with with it being uh, under the, the Facebook slash meta, mm -hmm. uh, meta cinematic universe uh <laughs> what like what's the advantage for a business to hop on threads sooner mm -hmm. if all of their stuff just transfers over really the only thing that matters about when you're building on a new platform is you're reaching new people that mm -hmm. maybe they wouldn't reach on Instagram. I see. So okay. there is a whole new audience there that they're not going to reach on Instagram. I ever. see. That makes sense. So there's that, and there's also just and that's also hoping that your followers on Instagram would follow you over. Go to Threads. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Because Threads might build its own, start building its own content base of people Got who it. where Instagram wouldn't. One other thing to think about is. Um, with people perhaps not being happy with Twitter anymore, or people that feel like they lost a lot of their followers on Twitter. Mm -hmm. This is now a place for them to go. If they are used to being a text-based app person, mm -hmm. you know, then this is now a place that they can go move all of their followers over here where they might feel like they have a little bit more freedom or are working with a company or an app that might be a little bit more safe. When you say text-based social mm -hmm. media, like what would a business use that for? Because mm -hmm. it's not obviously it's not pump like putting uh, like images or, mm -hmm. or, or videos kind of thing. Like, what is a primary use for mm -hmm. a Twitter or a Threads for a business? Usually, it would be like product updates, okay, product sales, um, things like news blasts that you want people to see quickly, be able to share quickly. Mm -hmm. And Twitter is like retweets pop off. I mean, that's the whole point of Twitter is you're getting your content out so quickly and shared so much. Mm -hmm. That's like the main point people go on there. I mean, if you get a couple shares on Facebook, that's great. If you get somebody to like reshare maybe your story or something on Instagram, that's okay. But like Twitter is made for like resharing and blasting mm -hmm. information and stuff out there. Okay. Um, so there's definitely a lot of uses for text-based apps okay. um, still for businesses, I think. And if you're a business that was on Twitter and you feel like it's dwindling a lot or you don't want to be on Twitter anymore because you're unsure of like where it will go and how much effort you're putting into it, um, threads might be something that you just have on the back burner that you maybe just start putting little stuff into just to keep it going, get mm -hmm. it started, um, and then to see where it goes. This is still looking really good. It I was expecting really it to, to disperse. Yeah. This um, is a fun part here. It looks really good from this specific angle. I feel like we're playing arts and crafts. This is perfect apple. Anyways, perfect. Here apple. is. That's, that's high praise. 
your skewer. Now, in the cool picture that I saw, we're just gonna like take mm -hmm. a couple of these. Mm -hmm. Like that. Isn't that cool? Being real quiet about it so everybody can hear this. Welcome to the ASMR session of Mocktails and Marketing. Where we skewer apples. Yeah. I'm going to put one up this way just to make it look cool. Cool. A way that you, you just stick it in there or? I think it just kind of like. Rests on there like that. Oh, yours looks better. Conclusion about threads. It's yes. going after Twitter. It's not up to par with Twitter yet, but it's definitely an alternative for people who are leaving Twitter, are unsure about their Twitter platform, and they have another option now. So it, threads has come in at this pinnacle point to give people that other option. Is it as big as Twitter? No. Is it perfect for like putting all of your products on there as a marketer person? No, but it could be. And it is an option, and I think it's definitely something that, since it is so easy to convert into, if you already have an Instagram, then, you know, why not? Give it a little go. Give it a little... Keep, keep an eye on threads. Keeping an eye on threads, making sure you stay threaded up in the best threads. Shall we do a little ka -ching? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Okay, here we go. Be sure not to stab yourself. This isn't, this isn't a great way to... I should have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm de definitely going to spill if that happens, so I'm going to, um... That there, is there the most high-quality apple juice I think I've ever had. I got mostly lemon juice there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Stir it up. Ooh, I like that color, too. That's very pretty. We should do a session just about colors. All right. Not bad. I mean, it, 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 it's it, not bad. It tastes like cherry apple. On a, on, a, on a scale of dank to... <laughs> <laughs> bougie. Bougie. Dank to bougie. What would you call that? On a scale of dank to bougie, I would say that is... Cole's cash. Cole's cash. <laughs> Dank to bougie. That's about Cole's cash. Cole's cash. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all for joining us yeah. for another Mocktails and Marketing. Um, if you make this, why? But if you do, you know, tag us. Yeah. Tell us how you liked it. Uh, if you're on threads, let us know how you guys feel about it. You know, was it easy for you guys to convert to threads? Do you guys find value in it? I mean, I feel like this is something that I love to hear people chat about with their own personal experience. Yeah, don't post any photos about it. <laughs> Just just text only, not even emojis. Just text. Just text. You can't search for it either, so <laughs> hope the algorithm works. Hope we'll find your comments. I yep. don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that was Mocktails and Marketing with Jordan. Thank you all, and it's good night from me. Me too, I guess. <laughs>